And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review, John Carter. movie I've ever seen in my life. I come from the planet. Spoilers! There's this guy named John Carter. Oh my god, they made a movie about the Terminator Kid! Maybe this is before he turned into that guy who yells at people for walking into the shot. Only this time he's traveling to Mars! So on this planet he can apparently breathe on for some reason? He comes across these big angry people who are green! The liberal left? But he affects the green people because he can jump really high! Apparently people on Mars can jump really high as well as apparently breathe air. This movie's teaching me so much about Mars! And here I thought it was just a location of Marvin the Martian and bad Tim Burton movies. But it turns out just away from the green people is another town named Helium. And the guards are like, Princess, the palace is under siege. Hang on a minute, that's not what people from Helium should sound like. They should sound like this. Princess, the palace is under siege. Behold, the ultimate warp zone. What? I mean, I mastered the secret weapon that those guys made. Does it work? Yes, as long as no supernatural forces come in and destroy it. Bang, what was that? A supernatural force came in and destroyed it. So the bad guy agrees to let everybody live as long as he just marries the princess? And the king is like, okay, what? Hey, it's a good plan. If it turned out the only way to end World War II was to have the president marry Hitler, I'd do it. This is unheard of! A princess in a Disney movie being forced to marry! It's almost as implausible as a princess being able to figure out the secret weapon on the other side when our top scientists can't. Woe is me! Yes, woe is you. But the princess escapes and makes it to John Carter and the green people? Sounds like the title of a kid's book, doesn't it? Almost as crazy as John Carter on Mars! And the princess is like... I'll get you back to your home planet if you help me save Mars! Okay, but I'll need help from a cute little comic relief. How about a really fast Martian dog? That'll do. So the princess helps him escape the green people, but then the bad guys catch up with him. And he does the most fiendish thing he can think of. He gives the princess a chance to kill him. Wait, what? But she doesn't do it. Wait, what? In fact, she decides to marry him. Wait, what? So John Carter is like, I thought you didn't want to marry him. But how else could I save my people? By killing him? Well, if only I was given the chance. You were? But would that really have done anything? It would have done everything. I guess you're right. Some bold people are here to capture you. What? So the bald people are like, we have taken over dozens of planets before and watched them destroy themselves. But why? Because! Because why? We're bald! Does balding make you really that angry? Yes, we're very bitter about it. But the Martian dog helps him escape. Beep, beep, beep. Just so he can get captured by the green people again. I summon you to fight the white ape. Okay, he's dead. Then I summon you to fight me. Ooh. King me. Hooray! So they stopped the wedding from taking place that the princess could have stopped before? And it looks like everybody lives happily ever after. Except one of the evil bald guys is like... A person who wants to go back to Earth says what? What? Christ! I'm back on Earth! I'm gonna wait ten years to put a plan into motion that should only take a couple of days. And the bald guy is like... I would have gotten away with this if it wasn't for that pesky John Carter! Oh yeah, and that Martian dog! Beep, beep, beep. See you on Mars! But probably not a sequel. Hooray! So John Carter was a lot of fun, even though it didn't make sense a lot of the time? But it sure is a great vacation promo for the planet Mars. After this in Total Recall, I think everybody's gonna go up there. But you do need one thing when you travel. Change! You got change! Oh, come on, help a guy out, will ya? Come on, change! Come on, traveling with me to Mars isn't bad. It's gotta be better than watching Red Planet. 